and welcome to our channel where we talk about faith-filled adventures, faith-filled learning, and faith-filled homemaking. Today's video is all about homemaking and I'm going to share with you some of our favorite things that we find at Costco. These are the things that we purchase time and again. Listen, if you are interested in faith-filled content, please subscribe to this channel so that you can be notified each time we make something new and hopefully you will get encouragement and inspiration and ideas when you come back here. All right, so let's get to it. We go to Costco about one time every four to six weeks and actually we do the bulk of our shopping there. We spend several hundred dollars for our family of five. I have three growing boys and a growing husband. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> um, we're a very active family. We are outdoors, we are moving, we are riding bikes, we are hiking, we are kayaking. Um, and so we really look for those foods that are going to nourish our family. We like to eat our meals at home as much as possible. I like to cook. So I buy a lot of ingredients to make things. We don't have a ton of easy food in our house, which sometimes <laughs> is a little frustrating. Um, just for the sake of throwing this out there, I would call us semi-crunchy. <laughs> um, I cloth diapered my kids, but they do eat Chick-fil-A. <laughs> um, that's where we are. So these options here are going to be things that, you know, are coming frozen, are coming in a package. However, they are organic typically. And then where we're able to, we stock our freezer with, you know, deer meat or half a cow or local things when we're able and it's in season. So let's get right to it. Um, first off, one of our favorite things that we go back for time and again. Guys, I have to tell you the truth. <laughs> My husband and I bought these um, one time last fall and I made them and he thought they were fresh green beans. They're that good. Um, I've been making all kinds of things with them and I'm going to show you how I flavor them most of the time. I pop an onion in with them while they cook. And then this is another favorite that we get at Costco. This is better than bouillon. It's the organic. And when I'm not using bone broth that I make at home, this is the stuff. This is how I flavor my vegetables. This huge container, okay, it is huge, um, is under $7 at our Costco. Whereas like at Walmart locally, we can get I think it's four ounces of the same thing and it alone is six dollars so this is a major score and it they have better than bullion beef better than bullion chicken and better than bullion vegetable seasoning we love it um it's a great choice for helping in your food so another one in the frozen section that we go back for time and time again. Um, we like to get our veggies in, but we can't practically go to the store every single week and buy fresh produce. So these frozen vegetables are kind of our way of making sure we always have things in our kitchen that I can prepare a decent meal with. They taste great. One of the um, pluses or positives of this particular bag is that they're pre-portioned. So this will actually feed our family of five. I can just I like to put one of these in a um, pot, like a, um, I think it's a two quart pot. And then I put a little bit of water in the bottom, just a little, um, and some fresh garlic and a little pat of butter. And I turn the heat as high as it can go. And as soon as it starts to really boil, I put a lid on the broccoli and I turn off the heat. And this steams it so perfectly, like I don't even have to strain it because I put so little water in that it kind of boils out before I put the lid on. So anyway, that's my my way of making this. And occasionally we'll throw a little bit of lemon juice and parmesan and some like red pepper flakes on top and it's so tasty. Here are two more staple items that we do not leave Costco without. This one, it comes, I think, comes in a bulk pack. I want to say 12 cans organic black beans. We eat a lot of black beans. <laughs> One of the only beans I like, you guys. I live in the south, um, the southern part of the USA, where beans galore is a thing, like pinto beans and baked beans. <laughs> and yeah, Sarah Ruth just doesn't like them. But black beans, I can get behind black beans. So I stock our house with these. They go great on nachos and 
um, soups I make and all kinds of dips. And then um, Costco, I feel like, is no known for their organic maple syrup. <laughs> it's such a good deal. I can't even touch this at our local grocery stores. Like, you know, 10 to 12 dollars for an eight ounce container of maple syrup and that's not even organic so this is a killer deal i use it for much more than just breakfast i use it as a natural sweetener in my coffee we use it in baked goods it's just really great i usually buy like four of these um, and keep them in our pantry so a couple more items now we're in the meat stash so this was out of stock at our costco for like five months and we were somewhat traumatized. <laughs> These are 100% grass-fed beef patties. And they come out to like just at $5 a pound, which I can't even, like once again, our local stores just can't even get close to this deal. My husband in particular likes them because they're pre-pattied into a third of a pound and they're sectioned off. So if I'm making like Salisbury steak or if we want to grill, these are great. The other thing is you don't have to keep them in a patty. I mean, they're just beef. So you can go ahead and throw them in the pan, use them like taco meat, break it up, make anything you would make with traditional. I mean, you could even defaw them in the fridge, like in a plate or whatever, and use them like regular ground beef. There's nothing added to them. It's a great, great buy. And dun, 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 dun. All right. Jones Organic Chicken Sausage. We found this about a year ago. This is like the cleanest chicken sausage. Let me redo the ingredients. Organic chicken, water, sea salt, organic dried parsley, organic lemon peel powder. That's it. That's all that's in here. And it's reasonably priced. Any type of like organic or our family doesn't eat pork. So like turkey sausages or whatever locally to us are so exorbitantly priced. It is outrageous. Um, so this is a wonderful find for us. And then the three last things I'm gonna show you, if you decide to go to Costco, you absolutely have to check out their freezer aisles. Um, hair in my mouth. Um, their organic blueberries are a family favorite, but they have other organic fruit and it is just such a good price such good quality we have had we've liked their mango their cherries um we just stock up on these they're good in smoothies i put these in our waffles homemade or our pancakes you make like a lemon blueberry loaf i mean anything goes we top our yogurt or kefir with these some blueberries and a little bit of my my kids at night they love dessert and we don't really do dessert so one dessert we will do is blueberries and cream and they can just go get like a bowl full of blueberries, frozen ones, and pour a little bit of heavy cream over it. And it is so decadent. It's like having an ice cream, but without all the awful stuff, right? So anyway, get some frozen fruit at Costco. And then these are the two last things. I mentioned that we're not big into convenience food, but here's a convenience food that we do get at Costco. Um, I would not say that this has the cleanest ingredients ever, but it's definitely a better choice than getting fast food. So sometimes mama needs a way to cheat. This is mama's cheat. <laughs> These are really delicious. My whole family likes them. I just pan fry them on both sides in some oil and they're chicken. So it can be a main course. And then I will throw like stir fry some rice and vegetables and that'll be our meal. Okay, so I'm a sourdough girl. <laughs> this is the best deal I've been able to find on more of a bread flour. So I've, I've shifted from getting my bread flour somewhere else and now I get it um, at Costco. I feed my starter with a rye flour that I still buy somewhere else from a mill, but I bake my bagels, my English muffins, my breads, all with this flour. It comes in a set of two at Costco and it's a wonderful deal. And so we just always have four to six of them here at the house. So these are a few of our favorite things. So now you know a few of our very favorite things that we grab for our family of five at Costco. If you have favorite things that you always pick up when you go, will you please put them in the comments so that other people can see and we can learn from one another. 
And that's it. Today was short and sweet. If you um, liked this video, if you want more content from us, please make sure to subscribe today and hopefully we'll see you at another time.